I love those radios that glow in the dark. Yep, this is my Collins 75A-4 receiver. It's uh, hand bands only, although it does give you a little bit uh, outside the hand bands, but it's mo mostly, mainly for the hand bands. Uh, 160 meters, 80 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters. 15, 11, 10, and an auxiliary 10. I'm not sure what that's for, but it's a long time. It's been a long time since I turned this radio on. This is my favorite radio. It was given to me um, by the president of the Collins Club. His name is Manuel, and he's, of course, an avid collector of Collins radios, and he always wants perfect ones and he had this one and he found one that was more perfect and so he gave this one to me he had completely gone through and realigned it put all new capacitors in and so to me it's perfect I think there's I think there's a little scratch on the bottom where it was put on a table or something but that's it and uh, it works excellent and I just wanted to show you this radio. It's running right now on 40 meters. And that's what you were listening to. Has a lots of controls and a very precise tuning knob. This is the big fat tuning knob. You use this knob here to select the band. And the scale is shown up here. Ooh, a little bit of dust there. Um, and I'll show you like and I don't know if the, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit now that I got the lights on. Stand by. Zooming. Okay, the, uh, the backlights, he replaced the backlights and they're pretty bright so it's a little too much for the camera. So you can't really see the scale and I'm in maximum zoom now. So anyway, we're gonna go, we're gonna go on. I I'm just a little bit of disadvantage because um, this was uh, put up on top of a dresser that I use for parts, and I've added a whole bunch of junk. Let me zoom out for a second, and you can see it. Yeah, I've had it. I've added a whole bunch of junk in this corner, so. Uh, the radio is not as easily accessible as it used to be. And since it weighs, oh, I'd say over 40 pounds, I can't move it. I, it's there to stay and I can't move it. Um, so that's where it is. Anyway, so I'm kind of disadvantaged and I'm having to stand up to reach it to tune it. Let me go back to the zoom mode. And reposition. There we go. So as I was saying, this knob down here selects the band, the, the meter band, the amateur radio meter band. This knob up here is the power you have either off, standby, and that's if you're using a transmitter with this, you can flip this to standby and then you're not transmitting into this radio. So that's what you would do. And then the off position, and then a calibrate position, which I believe it has a local oscillator um, so that you can calibrate the dial. And then the next knob is the automatic volume control, AVC. You can either have it off, fast, or slow. I've got it in the slow mode. This is a sensitivity knob or filter. It has three filter positions. This is the antenna trimmer knob. I am um, I moved temporarily my 
G5 RV antenna and hooked it to the back of this thing. I haven't, haven't adjusted that. I probably should do that. Let me just turn the... This is the AF gain, audio frequency gain, and the RF gain. Turn the audio back up. And see if I can adjust this. Okay, that signal is strong enough, it didn't make any difference. Turn that guy back down. Um, up here, maybe my, where's Mr. Finger? Come on, Mr. Finger, get to work. Here's Mr. Finger. Okay, <laughs> like I say, it's a long reach. Um, this is a noise limiter that you can either have off or tune in how much noise limiting you want. This is the mode switch, either AM mode, CW slash single sideband, so it does have sideband capability. On this radio, they they call the uh, BFO for single sideband, back then they call it the bandpass tuning. And this knob you use to tune in the sideband, either upper or lower sideband. And it's, it takes a little getting used to because it's, um, it's a little coarse. This is rejection tuning, uh, kind of a filtering process, I believe. Uh, it's long since forgotten exactly how that circuit works. But again, it's, it's kind of helps you to tune in the station. Here is the audio um, gain and the RF gain. And then we have a couple of knobs down here. This is the dial uh, offset in case it's not right on the frequency and I can't even read <laughs> what the other one is uh, oh this is the zero offset for the dial and this is the dial lock so that the dial doesn't once you find a station it stays locked now um, I don't think this tuning knob, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think this tuning knob comes standard with this radio. This is um, kind of a specialized knob that uh, came out as an aftermarket product which has this little handle on it for fast tuning. Because this is um, it's a very uh, detailed tuning scale goes from from 0 to 100 and it doesn't show up on my camera but <clears throat> this dial up here which is the the main tuning scale is it has a pointer which moves <clears throat> so if I go to 0 on the bottom one here and it's, it's right now at 7.2 megahertz. And then if I crank it, let's see how far it goes. That's continuous. Okay. So it's going all the way across the scale. And this particular scale is 6.8 megahertz to 7.8 megahertz or 1 megahertz of the 40 meter band and this of course is the S meter nice big S meter and uh, very sensitive and you can see the bands right now are pretty active we turn the volume back up for a second let you listen while I tune it Well, I said that and the band's got quiet. It's uh, it's um, almost 8 o'clock in the morning, so the sun is coming up, so the band's at least down in, in this area are starting to get quiet, or changing, I should say.
Daniel's wheel. Uh, you want to put out two cows to stir the pot? Now I don't know if you can hear this very well because <clears throat> the speaker is on the other side of the room. So my camera is of course pointing to the radio and the speaker is back that way. So you may not be hearing the audio very well. And of course they stop talking. I don't remember how many uh, how many tubes this radio has in it. I'm guessing maybe 10 or 11 tubes in it. And uh, it's got some huge transformers, both the power transformer because this will does does work off of AC so it does have its own built-in power supply and as you can see it is fairly large let me uh, zoom back out for a second <clears throat> So you can see um, here is a 1 foot 12 inch ruler so it's about 16 inches across and about 11 inches high and it's um, oh, probably 15 inches deep and it does get quite warm matter of fact um, that's one of the reasons I haven't used it in a while because I normally only use this radio in the winter to help heat up my room. <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that's a quick overview of one of my, another one of my big radios. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. I hope uh, the camera did a good job of showing off this radio. I really like this radio. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.